captain's log. It's 10.06 and Luna is underneath the green chair with a mouse. I just called Don. I just called Don because Luna's under the green chair probably eating said mouse. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I I freaking I can I mean good good girl, but at the same time <gasps> can't do this. I can't do this. I call Don. So Don's on his way. Meanwhile, I am cowering here waiting for Luna to appear. I don't think Natalie has any idea what's going on. Oh, don't. I'm over this. Oh God, okay. <gasps> okay, well, this is a great adventure. It's now noon, it's 12.04. Um, Don has been here. We're not sure if the mouse is gone or not. So please, like the chaos right now. Don came home, moved this chair out of the way. Everything is everywhere now. My books were everywhere, but I did kind of put them away a little bit. Um, so Don tried to get the mouse and he's like, well, because now the mouse, when Luna had it, it got loose and went underneath this brown thing that used to hold our big computer that we don't use anymore, which I keep saying this thing needs to go so I can put a bookshelf there. Um, so... <laughs> So it went behind there. And so Luna's looking for it. Luna's on one side. Don's on the other. I wish I recorded this, but I was freaking out too much and trying to read. Um, so Luna's on one side. Don's on the other. Don's got a ruler, like a big wooden ruler stick, trying to force it out. Well, then Don was like, well, I'm just going to get a trap. I'm going to try to put it, like, because he saw it. Thank God, because that, I'm pretty sure he thought I was crazy at that point. And, um, he, uh, <laughs> he took a box, put a trap in there, right? And then he's like, okay, I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. If you hear it, it means it caught it. Well, I heard the thing go off. So I'm like, hey, that trap went off, that trap went off. Well, Luna also heard it. Somehow got it out of, its, out of the trap. And had it in his mouth. I saw Luna with it in its mouth. She ran into the kitchen with it. And I was like, no, 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 no. She dropped the thing. Now all of a sudden her and Natalie are trying to like get it in the dining room, which I don't understand. That seems to be the place where the cats want to kill mice because Natalie has killed two mice and it's been in the dining room. Dusty's killed one mouse. And so... I'm like, oh great, okay, here we go, here we go. Well, the thing got out again, out of Luna's mouth, and is now under my fridge. I'm not sure. I, I don't know of anything, but now Natalie's acting weird. Like I had just taken the cat carrier out or something. She's downstairs in the basement, so I don't know if she ate it now and she feels sick from it, or what is going on. I... I mean, the thing is small. It was like maybe this big is a small mouse. <sighs> Yo, it's noon. I had planned on being dressed, makeup on. I have a cat lady box that needs to be done. I was going to unbox that. I was going to go to Tops. Now, I'm just like... Is it appropriate to day drink after the morning I just had? Like, what is, what is the day today? What, ha what happened? All because of a mouse. All because of a mouse. And I know a lot of you are like, you get a lot of creatures in your house. Well, that's because this way, out this way, out this window, there's a big giant field in my backyard. And I live around farms, so there are a lot of critters. 
that come into the house because of that. That's just that's just ha what happens when you live in the country. Um, yeah, so. I'm not okay with any of this. With any of this. Because the mouse is still potentially in this house. Do you see? Look, look I failed. Failed. I have two cats and a Don, and all three of you failed. Luna, what do you have to say for yourself? All right, it's many, many, many hours later. I actually went to the grocery store and pick up a few things because I plan on making tacos tonight. Now I'm back home ankles kind of throbbing so I'm sitting but amongst the chaos of the mouse situation this morning I did get a lot done in this book I'm on like two page 200 and 216 so there's like 370 something pages I'm close to finishing this which means I have to sit here for a little bit so my ankle stops hurting and so I'm gonna read some more um, so maybe I will finish this and this will be book 11 that I have finished yeah and then I'm like three quarters of the way done with lore so that would be done pretty soon um, and then I'm reading The Meddling Kids. It's a book that one of my coworkers gave me. That's one I've been carrying around in my purse with me. Um, I've got like 20 pages, only 20 pages done with that one. So I've got three books going at once. And then, I know we made this video a while ago, but the stack is still sitting here of the things that need to be read for the summer. I picked for the summer. So, if you're wondering, why don't I see anything on Instagram as to deciding what book I should read next, that's why, because I still have three books going. Because I will, like, because I love, I love following Jay Belibra's uh, Spooky Book Club, I will stop what I'm doing and read whatever the book is. This happens to be the book of the Spooky Book Club. It's almost done. It's it's pretty close to being done. Hello, my friends. Chelsea from the future. <laughs> Explaining things I film that just appear. Um, so I had mentioned in the last vlog that <clears throat> um, I was doing this big, giant Zumba event. I had had a hurt ankle. It still currently is not 100% yet, um, but I mentioned how important this thing was. Um, I will start playing video of me on stage, um, mainly because there, I mean, there's music playing. I don't want there to be copyright. So the whole event was so much fun. I had a blast. I was up on stage for four songs, and it's just... It's a lot of fun to be in front of your fellow Zumba peers, instructors, friends, um, meet new people, and uh, just, uh, what's the word? What's the word? I don't know. I'll think of it, and then I'll be like, that's it. Um, so my ankle was feeling pretty bad. Don, bless his heart, he came to support me, but then he also made sure that I had some ice to put on my ankle every time I came off stage. Uh, because there were there were a couple songs I did, and it really it bothered my ankle a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, I did two songs that were mine and then two songs I went up stage on stage with Summer um and we just we had a blast it was so fun after all this stuff with Miss Rona 
you know, we didn't get to do this last year and it was just so fun to be able to dance with something that big again. It was just, I had a blast. It was, it was so much fun. It was so much fun. It was a lot of work though. It was uh, kind of tiring because when you do big events like that, um, I feel like I have to put more of myself out there like the moves have to be that much more sharp has to be that much more on point because you're now in front of like you're instructing so many more people um, that might not know that choreography unlike when you teach in a class and some you know you get regulars that will show up and they know they know that you know am I making sense probably not I'm probably not making any sense um, so yeah, it was, it was a blast. Uh, my friend Kalina showed up and my friend Sam, even my boss showed up and she did my last song, which was so great. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. It was a very sweaty, hot day. I was drenched. Um, I was happy to be home afterwards to rest my ankle because that did not feel very good at all. <laughs> it, it was it was bad, uh, my ankle. Um, so yeah, I, it, again, it was fun. I really in, enjoy those events where I can just let the dance, do we call it the dance demon? I don't know. The dance beast out. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm really at my prime when I can be on stage in front of a bunch of people. I know, I know some people like <laughs> they can't fathom being on stage like that, but I really like, that is my life. I was born literally to be on a stage. It, it doesn't scare me. I'm not scared to be on stage. I'm not scared to be in front of a bunch of people because I love, I love teaching Zumba and that, I don't know, I, I guess I just, it's a comfort for me, dance, so it's, it's nothing to me. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, I just, I just, it, I'm not afraid of it, um, and I just love it. I love seeing the smiles on people's faces, I love seeing people dance and getting the rhythm, I don't know, it just gives me this energy that is, there are no, there are no words for that energy at all. So yeah, so that happened. And then, um, the other clip I'm about to show, I think it's very short, um, is I went finally to the beach only with my nephew. Uh, my niece stayed home. Um, but Bubby and I, he spent the night over, um, slept over. I was so proud of him because he's never slept over someplace on his own. And I know it's just auntie's house, but you know, when your big sister's not there, it can be a little intimidating. So we, he spent the night here and then we woke up and we had pancakes and then we went to the beach. So here's a short little clip of Bubby at the beach. I might add some pictures. Maybe I already have added pictures, but yeah beach time with Auntie. It was so much fun. We had a blast. Oh, oh, oh. 